So you're into week four. How's it going? It's going great. It's it's so great to have the support of everybody, the coaches and the and the team. And what was your goal to start with? Uh, there's so many goals. I want to push past that negative talk and know that I can do something and just really commit to it. Um, so uh, tell me about this t-shirt you have. Um, well, I, I was trying to find that, that tech gear that they talked about that, you know, that it well, it's this material. I don't know exactly, but I found this one, and it was bright yellow, and it just really kind of inspired me, so that's why I got it. Why don't you turn around, and I'll okay. read it. <laughs> Rain, snow, sleet, wind, brave the run. Right. And you've done that, haven't you? We have proved that. I, I mean, the first day that it snowed, I was like, yes. <laughs> it really pumped me up, ready to go. Today it was rain right through the puddles. It was kind of fun, though. I let our kid out. <laughs> You're very inspiring. I see you with the group and you're cheering them on. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's hard, and and again, it's just that I know that when you reach your tired point, your brain is like, you can't. I'm tired. I'm I have a slight ache. My legs hurt, and and just to push past that and just encourage each other. And everybody here has been that way for me. They've just you know they're rooting you on all the way. Also, like on the course, when you're actually running the 5K, you're going to be it'll be lined right. by people cheering right. you on. I know. There's there's accountability partners for my work, for my church, from my family. I know they'll all be there. I hope to support me, and 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 it's going to be empowering just with the cheering and the and the crowd. And I can do this. I can do this. They say when you run, if you hold your thumbs like this, you won't tense these muscle muscles. So pretend like you're holding a potato chip. <laughs> you keep going. Push past those voices in my head that limit me. Can I get that sense from you is that you're not a quitter. Tell, tell me how, how you avoid that. Wow. Um, I always actually, I mean, and it's been something that I've struggled with is I tend to really fill my plate full of stuff as a mom and, and as a woman and, and a young adult just trying to find her way, you know. I, and, and so this has just given me that um, piece to follow through. Um, I don't want to quit. I don't want to compete, but I want to complete. <laughs> uh, it's hard for me to keep up with you because you're always the leader of the pack, and you were going through the, the gate to the stadium. You were in the, the first. You know, I, I, I wish I could keep that all the way through. I, I definitely want to try to push myself each week a little farther, um, and I try to stay as long as I can to the front. But there's, I, you know, you get to an, your own pace. And they did tell me that even if you're just keeping that gate open, and you slow down that that's still better than the walking so I've tried everything <laughs> I've, I've always admired people that got up and, and ran or even during you know any part of the day when you see them running out there I've always been like oh my gosh how can you do that but um, now I'm one of them <laughs> it feels great it's definitely encouraging me in the rest of my life too so pushing past those um, you know just those man-made limitations that we put on ourselves I think is is what's great to be out here doing this so <laughs> well thank you so you're at week four with your group how are they doing i'm doing uh, really well today we did uh 3.5 miles um, with the group and it was a flat course um, so I kind of wanted to get them used to a flat course today and uh, the front of the pack came in at about 11 minute mile uh, and then the back part of the pack was uh, fairly slow. We, it was about 50 minutes total, so that's about where they, they came in today. And you were kind of in the back motivating the people in the back of the pack. What do you say to them? How do you motivate somebody? Uh, just trying to keep them feeling, you know, positive and that uh, this is, you know, something that they're, they're all wanting to do anyway. So um, the people in the back um, are definitely um, doing very well, um, keeping their own pace. Um, 
what I do usually is every week I send out emails uh, to everybody, so I try to communicate with them via email, um, keep them motivated, get them showing up the next class session, tell them how well they're doing, um, and everybody's seeing good improvement. So. Oh, that's for sure. I mean, the progress is incredible in four weeks. It's been really, really great, yeah. And you were running in little rain and puddles today. Today it was wet, yeah. So it was. Uh, we did some track work. The track was really wet and saturated, so a lot of a lot of puddles on the track. Um, but uh, it wasn't too cold, so it was nice, and everybody did great. So. And you have a group that's really motivated. Uh, what What would you say to people who aren't motivated yet? Um, as far as people that are outside of my group, uh, right. is that what you're talking about? Uh, you know, time's getting short, so if you want to do something like, uh, even though it's a run, walk, 5K, um, you know, it's the better shape you're in, the more fun it's going to be come, come Bear Blossom uh, race day. So time to get off uh, the couch and, uh, and start running. <laughs>